we're balancing, we're sending that lob right back over into John, the can we get some going on that? Like I indicated, the uh, speed feedback signs will be installed near the school. That'll happen in autumn. That's good. And uh, we're, we're looking at putting in additional speed feedback, speed feedback signs in the narrow section. And, and, so, and so we're going to start designing those. What about that $25,000 item of a yeah. camera that would go on uh, that existing on that existing signal? Can we work on that? Yeah, we'll, we'll have our discussions with the police department and their contractor to see how we might be able to get that. Okay, good. And, and let's make sure we follow up with that, uh, Steve, from, from the committee's end. Absolutely. Okay. All right, now, when we said zero tolerance, uh, that means that there are going to be more cops giving tickets. Okay? So just know that for a fact that when the captain talked about youthful offender, turn away any offender, no more warnings, it's going to be a ticket, okay? Uh, and then increased enforcement. Well, we're going to have more officers around. We're going to even have our, our wonderful reserve motor task force around, and, and they're going to continue to, to be more visible than ever before. We can't wait here. And education outreach, all the schools are going to be asked by the captain to allow uh, them to come in and explain these issues and get the kids into a discussion so that they're educated and have a better sense. <clears throat> All of these actions will happen right now and over the next few weeks. And that is the immediate action. The bigger question, Steve, becomes for the community if you want to do any engineering reconfiguration. And frankly, that is a process that will take time and will take the involvement of the community and the buy-in from the community. I am not going to react without a commitment from the Highlands and the 6,000 people up there. We're not going to spend uh, that time and energy, and of course somebody's going to have to come up to tap and pay for it, which the city isn't in a position right now to do it with the deficit. We have state as the federal government has. It's a tough moment for that. But if the community up in the Highlands all wanted us to go to three lanes, one going down, two going up, with any of these buffers uh, that John said could be short term or long term, uh, we want to go through a community buy-in process that I hope will be extremely democratic and, and, and consensus building. So with that, no allocation of any city funds? Well, well, we'll see what John can say the city and his budget priorities can do. And then I'm on the budget committee, and I'm certainly an advocate for the Palisades, uh, but what we have to see what the reality is that we're standing up against when they do that. The mayor's talking about furloughs or being rid of people, closing library hours, closing, closing the park out. These are significant other trade-offs, even gang reduction issues, which I have in this district. I'm looking for money for the safe passage program where we've had killings. So all these get stacked up. And even uh, the, the desire of the mayor and myself to go up to 10,000 officers. We want to continue to get more officers because it's our district that, that, that took a hit uh, just uh, a month and a half ago, and that's why we need more officers. So all these come into the mix. So I can't say there is X dollars. Certainly say that if there's a plan that the community in an engineering sense wants to go forward with, we'll get the real dollars uh, and we'll play it out and see how the community feels about doing it.